And researchers at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi show the Corpus Christi Bay has at least seven species of sharks living in it. After more than five years of research, we now have an idea why so many sharks use the Corpus Christi Bay as a breeding ground. Tonight, our Brandon Schaaf spoke with a TAM UCC professor to see what we know so far. The research is in. The Corpus Christi Bay is a haven for all types of sharks and one professor is getting to the bottom of it. There's an area in the bay where the ship channel is where there's a deep drop off and so there's a, a shallow area with a deep area right next to it. Dr. David Portnoy's research on marine biology spans over a decade but this new project studying the Corpus Christi Bay as a nursery for juvenile sharks began in 2015 and don't worry they won't bite. The females may be running all the way into the bay, or they may be pupping sort of at the, at the inlet coming in, um, but there may be large animals here. People have to realize that statistically, the chances of being attacked by a shark are, are, are very close to zero. PhD students like Dominic Swift traveled across the pond to get involved in research like this. Access to the sharks is a big reason why. Growing up in England, we didn't have many <laughs> experiences handling sharks and getting into, into these kind of locations. Um, so, so for me, that's been a big, a big factor. Both Portnoy and his team say the most important part of this research is twofold. Help conserve the sharks and rays they know are there and the overall health of the bay. The, the bay is full of many different species of sharks that maybe people who live here wouldn't know about necessarily. So having that outreach is really important because it increases awareness and increases interest in, in the work that we're doing and in the animals in the bay. There's a value in having these long-term surveys to make sure that, you know, that, the, that the, ha the bay is still functioning as appropriate habitat for these species that really need it as an important part of their life cycles. Thanks to a collaboration with Texas State Aquarium, they've tagged seven species of sharks and three species of ray, all with the goal of making us better neighbors with these underwater Coastal Bend residents. Brandon Schaff, 3 News.